Oh hi guys and girls, Emma again, welcome back to the spare room. It's part two of this little boiler build. There's a couple of jobs to do on this. First one is really to mark this tube out. I've got the ends nice and square. And we've got the the plates more or less made and marked out and we've worked out where we want to put everything. We've decided that we're going to put a blow down valve in the bottom one. Uh, which will be fairly useful and is the best place for it and we're going to move or the, the feed water bush as high up the, the tube as the, up the barrel as we can um, for a couple of reasons but we'll talk about that at some point probably First thing, I've got the, the surface plate out and it's really overkill because this bench is heaps flat enough to do boiler work. But it's nice and clean. If I put stuff on it, I'm less likely to lose it than the bench. So that was the, the plan. First, we've got to find a center line because I'd like the water gauge glass and the and the fire hole door all on one all on one plane and I would like the the turret and the gauge glass Oh, the, the turret and the, and I'd like the turret and the, the pressure gauge exactly opposite. We really need to find the center of this. If we, if we were just scrubbing on it, it really doesn't matter very much. But we've got a scribe and block and we've got a couple of V blocks to sit it on. Probably the best way to do this is just to get a ruler. and push that up against it with the scribing block and check it with a square. I've had a bit of a fiddle around with the adjustment here and it's really not a fun little setup but try and move everything around so that you can actually see it here. If we sit this here like such and put one of Stan's little squares in there that's really not too shabby so we're going to call that the center on top of those V blocks that's the easiest way to do that so first job I guess is to scribe a line down there And come across a problem that the center, the surface plate's really not big enough for my job. At some point, I will invest in a bigger one, but this little one is it's struggling a bit to be big enough for this. And the next job is just to find a square. It's probably the easiest way. And this one's not really big enough. So if we mark that one along there, then we come around the back and mark the other side. Oh, 
what we've got if we if we find the square. Oh, 90. We should be able to set this up and mark the other lines at 90 degrees, and we've got the quadrants marked out. This square isn't big enough, so we'll put this one back in the box. And this one's struggling a bit too. On a one, two, three block, it's going to do the job, so we'll get one of those. And the trick will be to to find the the point where this line and this line meet up and scribe another line down each side so we've got four lines marked it's one there one there and one there and one there next we want to mark out the fire hole door and probably the easiest way is just to scribe this now according to my drawing, this here is 20 millimeters up and 20 millimeters high on above the line and it's 30 millimeters wide. So that's a pretty straightforward little job. So we'll set this up with a ruler. And the quickest and easiest way to mark this each side is to set it off with the dividers at 15 millimeters and mark a line and we'll scribe a line along with the with the V blocks. And then I'll grab the, the radius gauges and we'll mark out the corners nicely. And that'll be one hole ready to go. Next job probably to cut this out would be to chain drill it. That's probably the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to just take the time to mark this out properly. Uh, the secret to chain drilling is to Get your holes as accurate as you can before you start. We could drill a hole here and a hole here and a hole here and a hole here and a hole here right the way around and then file it up. Probably one of them is going to wander and it's going to just clean up. We're going to end up with a bigger hole than we really wanted. So I'm going to work out what size hole we need and I might just chain drill that and cut it out nicely. You don't need to watch that. And we'll have a look when we come back at the other toe holes on this line for the water gauge. So after a couple of hours elbow grease and a couple of small files, we've got that pretty sweet. It's nice and level and it's square. It's got nice round corners. There's some several schools of thought about how to make a fire hole door for this um, probably the nicest is to get a bit of copper strip and bend round there and solder it in and put a flat door on it that's probably going to work quite well it really needs to stand out because if I lag this boiler then you want something that sticks out a little bit the Probably the, the other way to do it would be to get a piece of probably the other way to do it would be to 
make a door with a fold on it that matches here but it's much easier to make it all separate so I think what I'm going to do is just get a piece of copper and bend around there and that'll be one of the last jobs and just silver solder it in so that's established pretty much our centre line which is up there and I just discovered that this Sharpie which is an American one um, come in the what's in your box tool giveaway has two ends on it which is very very cool I don't know if they've all got that but it's the only one I've ever seen like it not that I've ever paid much attention so that's our center line there for the front Here's the piece that we chain drilled out and just basically cut it out with a little file and, and prized it out with a screwdriver and filed around it. Very straightforward little job. It just takes a little while to get it nice and neat. First bush in this first bush in this is up 85 millimeters if we have a look here is there and the next bush is 60 millimeters above that so there's a couple of ways to do that probably the easiest way is just to step it off with the dividers while we set up here rather than mess around if we add 65 and 80 oh, 85 and 60 together we get 145 I believe 85 10 20 30 40 50, 60, 145. If you can get through a day's work with a scribing block without, without piercing yourself somewhere, you're doing really well. And that's those. And next job will be to mark them out. Not like this. Seriously. just like that and these bushes I think need to be and we're going to use probably a bit of that bronze bar which is this and that's about 14 mil diameter we'll use most of that I think and they've got 732 threads in them Which is just under a quarter so 
to drill these 10 millimeters will be plenty good enough. I want to drill these first to make the bushes to fit. Um, I'm probably going to run them through with a step drill, uh, which is probably the easiest way. I won't take you across to the drill press again, but I'm just going to drill these 10 millimeters. So there we go, that's made a pretty good sort of a, a start to that. We've got the door hole and we've got the water gauge glass holes. Now this one goes in this side for a turret and probably one in the back, I think directly in the back, which will be for the, the water feed now I think about it. And one goes in here at about 30 or 45 degrees or something for the the pressure gauge. So I'm going to go ahead and, and mark out and drill all those holes and then next video we'll talk about the holes for these to go in here and probably also we'll start to make some bushes so they're all pretty straightforward and it's a nice little job but that's going to be a good boiler thanks for watching guys and girls and more soon um, of course you're already subscribed but if you're not click the subscribe button the little bell so you get the next installment and like and leave a comment I've learned a lot about boiler design since the last video from various viewers keep it up uh, we're all here to learn so that'd be amazing so be kind to each other and more soon